Following a stage with a surprisingly difficult finish, the sprinters should shine again today on this perfectly flat track to Alcala de Guadaira in Andalusia. Very early in the race, three men break away from the peloton. The Ethiopian Skabu Gurme is the first to attack, and the man from Lamprey is soon followed by the Canadian Antoine Duchesne from Europe Gar and Ilio Kaise from Etix Quickstep. The trio cooperates well, and after one hour, they have a lead of seven minutes. That's when the peloton, led by Degenkolb's giant Alpecin, decides to start the hunt, and the bunch slowly catches up to the escape group. At the intermediate sprint, 18 kilometers before arrival, the gap has dwindled to one and a half minutes. The Belgian Kaiser refuses to give up and tries what seems to be a hopeless attack on his own in the streets of Sevilla. But he too is eventually swallowed by the peloton 10 kilometers before the finish line. Nothing stands in the way of a bunch sprint now. Tink of Saxo opened the way for their sprinter Peter Sagan, but the green jersey will be a bit short today. Just as the great favorite Degenkolb, he is beaten by an Australian youngster. The 21-year-old Caleb Ewan irresistibly takes the stage win and proves that he will have to be reckoned with on this welter. At the start in Rota, he had already said that today was going to be his day. And the 21-year-old Caleb Ewan has proven that those weren't just big words. He also has the legs to compete with the best sprinters. On the final slope, the man who at 18 years had already beaten Robbie McEwen snatched the stage win off the favorite Sagan and Degenkolb. With the second stage win and one of their riders in the red jersey until today, the start of this Vuelta must feel like a dream to Team Orica Greenage. Yeah, this is by far you know, the happiest day in my career. Um, you know, to beat some of the, the best sprinters in the world, especially guys like Sagan and, and Degen Kolb, up a, an uphill finish, you know, it really means a lot to me. And, and it's, a, you know, it's an honor to race with those guys and, and to, the, to beat them is, is just unreal for me. And yeah, I'm so happy. Six different nations were present at the top six places of today's stage. The first Spaniard, José Joaquim Roas, is fifth. Surprised by the final slope, Esteban Chavez finishes 20th, eight seconds behind the stage winner and loses the red jersey to Tom Dumoulin, second at Camino del Rey on Sunday. On Thursday on stage six, the finish should not surprise the participants. As the name indicates, the Sierra de Cazorla will lead to the second climbing finish this year. Maybe an opportunity for Esteban Chavez to shine again. At the heart of Spain's biggest natural park, the scenery should be breathtaking. But first, let's dwell on the images of today's stage five. Mm -hmm. 